everybody. Um, how's it going? <laughs> Good. Um, so essentially, um, I am here with my uh, three friends slash uh, teammates in filmmaking. Uh, on the end, we have the wonderful Sophie Newton. <laughs> we have the insane Louis Grant. <laughs> and we have the brilliant Jamie versus the universe. <laughs> So essentially what we're going to be doing is screening three films that we've made. Um, I'm going to say a little bit about them and then so I'm going to get some questions. My voice is really reverberant right now. <laughs> I like it. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have to keep questions unfortunately to kind of like the front row-ish. So basically questions about filmmaking, questions about the films you've just seen and we'll try our best to field them. And uh, yeah, we can start with the film I guess uh, with film number one. It's P PJ Tony Clans Explorer. I think I'm going to move to a different planet. Right. Now. Yeah, no, I'm sure I'd like to cancel my uh, account with Monster Hunter Direct. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, of right, course thank I'll you very much. Every couple of light years, I'd imagine. I mean, it's probably going to be quite hectic out there. I don't really know what the time <laughs> No, you hang up. No, you hang up first. No. Okay, I'm hanging up. And that's one extra large pizza with extra penguin and tomatoes. And pickles. I'd be eaten alive out there without the bare essentials, so I packed. A guide to this universe's nastiest and most dangerous creatures. My reading. A chef's hat for all the cooking I'm inevitably not going to do. My leather-bound notebook where I keep all my deepest, darkest super girl crushes. A clean pair of underwear discolored over time. Three HP pencils and a 2B pencil for shading. My trusted 12-hole sweet potato ocarina. A handheld game console for playing. Must remember lots of AA batteries. Cookie. Chocolate chip. Sunglasses. If I get close to the sun, then I'm looking directly at it. And no adventure would be complete without my jetpack rucksack. Self-explanatory. I began my journey into space, and after several months of travel, I came across something rather odd. An abundance of tiny planets for me to explore and claim as my new home. Spiral mind messes and places forgotten over time. Overgrown with thick wheat and tree marsh. Planets that messed with my molecular structure completely. Harsh weather conditions on both sides of the fence. As my search went on, my ideal planet was looking bleak. The gravity shifts were messing with my head and I grew bored quickly. My jetpack rucksack like out of fuel. I was out of luck and out of options. My new home was made not by choice, but by lack of preparations. Oops. PJ Tiny Planet Explorer, um, which we just made kind of just for the fun of it. Like we just kind of thought one day, let's make a film. So we went and made that. And it cost two pounds to make. Yes, it cost two pounds to make, and that was spent on the pizza. So I think that might be our lowest budget film to date, essentially. So um, yeah, we made that, and then we kind of uh, Jamie saw this competition online called the Virgin Media Shorts. So we decided to enter it into um, into a film competition. Um, we didn't really expect anything to happen with that, but then eventually it got to the point where we actually won because you guys you voted for us to kind of go through to the finals, and we got to uh, yeah we got to screen it at the BFI. We got to screen it from in cinemas all around the world. You might have seen it in picture houses and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's great. So thank you to anyone that voted for that. That was a year ago now, but yeah. Um, so are there any questions regarding that film in particular? Um, anything around the front? I can keep talking about it if I think you want like to myself. Um, that's kind of full of noodles and full of like uh, video games where I can just kind of relax all day. That sounds kind of lame, but um, yeah, just a nice relaxing planet, planet full of noodles. Um, so yeah. Any other questions at all? Uh, we got a couple by the front. Um, what gave you inspiration to make the kind of planets when you were editing? Like, have you seen that done before, like doing that before? Yeah, no, the inspiration for that one uh, was really cool actually because I have an app on my phone uh, called something like 360 Panorama and essentially um, you can make these tiny planets by taking loads of pictures and I kind of saw that and thought, oh, that'd be great if I could make that into a film. 
So I kind of just went through with a lot of trial and error and tried to work out how I could do that um, in editing. Um, and I've never seen it done before, like in video form. Like I've never seen a film. And we um, developed the idea together. And then we got Sophie and Louis involved uh, in the costume and the props and just making it more believable, making like this complete different character, which is a color bandit. Um, so that was like a pretty crazy shoot, but I guess I, I'll let you guys kind of ask, ask some qu questions first and then 